Hi, my name is Linda Deloyer, and today I would like to introduce the gem combs to you. The gem combs are my collection of combs carved out of 10 different gemstones. The intention behind the gem comb is to help with personal transformation, with healing, and with beauty in regards to your hair, to your aura, and life. Hair is right in between the physical and the energetic body, and combing is a powerful ritual. A ritual which brings order back into the universe of hair, which aligns your energy. You can also comb your hair and take things out of your field. And imagine you do this with the help of a comb carved of a specific gemstone. Many years ago, I had a vision of a rose quartz comb, and it was actually talking to me. It said, I want to be manifested in this world to spread love and light. At that point, I was already working in the holistic hair care field, and I was well aware of the fact that a lot of people don't like their hair, even hate it. And love and self-confidence, something very important to bring into our lives, into our relationship with our hair and ourselves, so that we can be radiant and truly gorgeous, which we are. I'd like to introduce each comb to you today. And I will start with the rose quartz comb, which was the first one. Rose quartz carries the master energy of self-confidence and love and has a harmonizing effect on the emotions. It is a wonderful stone and gem comb for children. I would always recommend putting a rose quartz stone into your children's bedroom so that they sleep better. Rose quartz is also very healing for all matters of the heart, be it lover's grief or be it an argument you had with a good friend. Just place the rose quartz comb on your heart or comb the energy out. Just follow your instinct when you take a gem comb into your hand. The second gem comb that we had made is the jade gem comb. And although I cannot make any promises in regards to healing, this is the one I recommend when people ask me, which gem comb should I use for my hair problems, for hair thinning or hair loss? Jade in gemstone therapy is wonderful for regulating the blood circulatory system and for strengthening the bladder and kidney. Now, bladder and kidney are often involved when a person experiences hair challenges. You can take the gem combs and go along the meridians on your body, press them onto certain acupuncture point, clear your aura. Jade is also green, so this is our green gem comb, reminding us to live green eating green vegetables and algaes for our body. It's very beneficial for the health of your scalp and hair. And going into nature, walking with your feet on green grass, touching trees and leaves. The third gem comb is the amethyst. Amethyst calms the mind. In gemstone therapy, amethyst is wonderful if you have trouble falling asleep. And you can take the comb into your hand when you fall asleep, put it onto your pillow. You can also use amethyst before meditating or before you are reflecting upon something. Amethyst is related to the third eye, your center of vision and dreaming, and that's what this gem comb of wisdom improves. The fourth comb is the quartz crystal. Quartz crystal is the master healer among all stones because it carries all the colors of the rainbow within. And some of these gem combs indeed have little rainbows inside. It lets all the light come through and is my favorite comb to purify my aura or to clear the space. The quartz crystal comb carries the master energy of light and clarity. A few years ago, we didn't have 
clear quartz crystal. And my manufacturer brought us the snow quartz gem comb, which is, as you can see, milkier. It's related to the moon, whereas the quartz crystal belongs to the sun. And then we grew so fond of the snow quartz gem comb, even when we were able to get the quartz crystal again, that we kept it in our collection. The snow quartz carries the master energy of innocence, and it is calming, and it is my favorite comb that I keep near the computer and electronics. The next comb, the tiger eye gem comb, is related to the solar plexus, which is a center between our heart and our navel. It refers to the sun, and this is the area where we store negative experiences, where we are often weak. We can feel it when we are being verbally attacked or even physically, that it's right here where we feel most vulnerable. This gem comb carries the master energy of wealth, and that refers to your talents and to your strengths. I like to use the tiger eye gem comb to clear out whatever is in the solar plexus that keeps it from shining and being strong. The tiger eye gem comb and the red jasper gem comb both come from Africa. And this one belongs to the second chakra of creativity and sexuality. It is the comb that brings energy back into motion. If you feel sluggish and you want to be more active, then I recommend this red fiery comb that reminds us of the strength of Africa, of the earth, and helps us to be grounded in everything we do. The next two combs are both obsidians, the snowflake obsidian and the black obsidian. Both are lava. Basically, their molecular structure is very different from the other combs. They are more like glass. The snowflake obsidian gem comb helps with any type of pain, and physical pain, emotional pain. And I want to share a little story with you. Once I was treating a hair client after she had received her hair cut with this particular comb. And I was combing just above her physical body in the auric field, combing along the arm. But about here, the gem comb wouldn't move. It was just a blockage. And so I kept combing and combing. And afterwards, I asked her, how was your experience? And she said she liked it, it was very relaxing. And she said, I noticed you were working on this part of my arm where a year and a half ago I had a fracture. This is a great example that shows that there is more happening in the auric field, as we can see. And the combs have a beneficial effect on bringing energy back into flow. We've also had great stories from gem comb friends, different parts of the world, who said that the snowflake obsidian helped with certain types of pain. Again, it's not a healing promise at all, but migraine, headaches, toothache are areas where I would just use this one, the snowflake obsidian. The black obsidian gem comb carries the master energy of transformation and it is destined to help transform any negativity. So it's a great comb to comb out, to really get rid of anything. It's related to the chakra below the root chakra. And it's my favorite comb for yeah, getting rid of things, which means transforming something that no longer serves me into something that does. The last comb in our collection is the blue lace agate. It belongs to the throat chakra and carries the master energy of truth. I like to use this gem comb for anything in this area, be it stress from dental treatments, jaw tension, neck and shoulder tension, and work my way through the blockages. But just like with all the other combs, you can use this one as well to comb negative things out of your field. 
it's really not written in stone, what every single gem comb can do. The blue lace agate may help you with expressing yourself, communicating clearly, and therefore it's a wonderful calm for people who want to find their voice again, be it through singing or through marketing themselves or just sharing with the world who they are. I found that the gem combs teach us somehow what to do with them. There is a principle of guidance that in the moment when you take one into your hand works. I have given many Gemcom workshops and gatherings and there were people who have never done a healing treatment on someone else. And they took a comb and somehow they knew what to do. They knew whether to just place the comb on a part of the body or to just comb the aura or to just press the teeth of the comb or the other side on certain parts. It's quite amazing. Everybody was always surprised how easy it was for them to apply the gem combs. A lot of times people ask me, which comb should I use or which one should I pick first? And what I prefer is that people follow their initial intuition and follow that impulse when they see all the 10 gem combs, which one speaks to them. And some people are influenced by their color, and some people, it's the opposite. They actually love purple, that's their favorite color, but they feel drawn to the blue lace agate. That is always my first recommendation. Follow your initial intuition. And then I like to recommend starting with one comb and really using it, placing it, carrying it around with you, using it on others, using it on yourselves and then continue with the next one. If you would like to learn more about the gem combs, go to gemcomb.com and you will find lots of information. If you go to hairgarden.com and you sign up for my newsletter, there is a free download of the gem comb guidebook where you find many stories about the combs, testimonials and instructions of all the things you can do with the gem combs other than just combing your hair. <laughs>